very important. Now, you may have seen this before. It's called a Koch curve. It is a fractal. If you look at all the shapes in nature, uh, they are nothing like Euclidean geometry. You'll never see a tree that is a sphere. You'll never see an ocean that is a, that is a cube. What you essentially have is you have clouds, you have trees, and these are all uh, what Benoit Mandelbrot uh, would have defined as fractals. Mm -hmm. uh, now, fractals are self-repeating patterns. If you take a look at this patch curve, uh, we see four iterations. Uh, forget the blur, it's at 72 pixels. However, uh, we start out with a simple triangle. Uh, then we add another triangle rotated 90 degrees. Uh, then we add a um, third iteration, another triangle, and so on and so on and so forth. And this can go down to infinity, to an infinite number of iterations. And if you look uh, here, uh, as you go farther and farther and farther down, the perimeter gets longer and longer and longer and longer. The perimeter of this object is infinite. Okay? The area fits on the page is finite. And this is one of the major natures of the universe in terms of iterations. Uh, we exist uh, in one of these iterations on what one would call the prime material plane. Uh, if one were to go one iteration larger, we'd start dealing with, it with uh, the movement of the galaxies from our movement of the solar mm -hmm. system. Larger, we uh, exist within a multiverse, a number of universes. Those, uh, there are 10 to the 100th universes out there. That is, there, there are more universes out there than there are atoms on this universe. And they are all interactive. That's an iteration above. And then there's, of course, galaxies. There are, of course, galaxies and multiverses. On the other direction of iterations, we have uh, the atomic world. Uh, we have uh, the subatomic world. We have the sub subatomic world. And it goes down. And each one of these is an iteration very similar to a fractal. Now, this is the basis upon which the formula is defined. Uh, Callisto, could you please bring me, uh, uh, as physicists have theorized for years, uh, time of uh, the universe is expanding and contracting. And as uh, the teacher has discovered, time itself is expanding and contracting in a sine wave. Uh, if we're looking at this as the zero point, and in normal uh, math, a sine wave would be minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Time is accelerating and decelerating. At the beginning of time, at the beginning of the universe, we would be, uh, well, let's just call this pi over 2 at zero. Once time started, uh, there was an infinite increase in time from zero. Okay, that began in a fracture, as it were, and in any fracture there is a particle being given out. It's called a Dan P particle. Uh, and this fracture uh, was given throughout all the multiverses. And uh, in the first 10 to the minus 43 seconds, uh, uh, within Planck's realm, uh, we essentially created uh, every single particle known in the universe from fractures of the multiverse. And time started at zero and moved as it expressed itself infinitely in the first minus 10 to the 43 seconds. If we go up to the top here, this is when the universe will start to contract and time will reverse itself, okay? In between here, this moment, is where we exist. And this time here, that zero, is approaching very soon. And that time zero is the end of the world as we know it.